Hey YouTubers, it's the Wilson Life. Um, I am using my camera, my uh, video camera right now, but I can't find my tripod. <laughs> Today I was looking at some of my old videos here on this channel and some of them are kind of embarrassing because they're really like sort of wee-booey and but I, I looked at one from back when I first started this channel like back in 2009 and it was what was inside my makeup my makeup bag and um, it made me laugh because I had this little makeup pouch and I had all this like random junky makeup and back then I had no idea that the stuff that I was using was really poor quality yet I was here on YouTube advertising it like it was great stuff but really I hadn't tried a lot of the um, great products that I've tried now so I guess I was just naive but I've of course changed all the information on that video to make sure that people know that I no longer am advertising these products as being good products. Um, so today I'm going to be giving you an updated look at what's inside my makeup bag. This is my makeup bag. And um, I work at a drugstore so I see all of the new stuff coming in. Um, but I do not use... Well, first of all, let me just say that most of the stuff in this bag is drugstore stuff, but um, as for foundation and powder, uh, especially foundation, I only use MAC. Um, the MAC foundation that I use is MAC Studio Sculpt, and my color is, I'm pretty sure, uh, it's called NC15. It's the color that this one is, and this is my main foundation. It's what I usually put on first after I put on my um, moisturizer. So after I put on my foundation, I usually put on my powder, and the powder that I use is called um, MAC Studio Care Blend. And originally when I decided to start using MAC powder, I went in there and the girl, you know, when you see MAC makeup artists, they have always have their makeup on really extravagantly, and you're just like, whoa, I wouldn't want to wear that much, um, but she was really helpful because she was like, okay, well you're not going to want the original one that I was looking at because it's too cakey, but you should try Studio Care Blend because it looks the most natural. And this one is very nice stuff, um, and it's, it's not hard on your skin. Like, I do not break out from MAC products at all, and especially this one is very, very nice on the skin. And um, both of these are about $30 each, and for me they last a um, few months. And I just kind of have to periodically buy one. It's not that expensive, and um, with MAC products you get a lot more applications than you would with the drugstore products. So I would say for every three bottles of, say, um, let's see here. I do have a, I do have a CoverGirl foundation in here. It's a... Uh, CoverGirl Clean, and I never used this. The reason that I bought it was because I got um, a... There there were these CoverGirl coupons that were $8 off. And when I first started working retail, I just I started discovering all of the crazy couponing. And um, this one really nice couponer lady that came up here from Oregon gave me some of her $8 off coupons. So I went and bought a bunch of CoverGirl stuff. And this is the... Um, this is what I bought with some of it. It was like some, just in case I run out of MAC, I can use this as a backup. But, uh, you know, like three bottles of this would be 30, it would be 30 some dollars, because they're about $10 a bottle. And it would last just as long as, say, one bottle of this. And this has excellent coverage, is long lasting, and lasts a lot longer than this. Notice that drugstore foundations tend to come off your face about halfway through the day and it starts to get really greasy and gross looking and you don't want that from your makeup. Um, okay, so moving on. Moving on to some of my drugstore products. I do actually like some of them. Um, for instance, my mascara is Voluminous Lashes. Um, this works very well. Uh, you'll notice that when you first buy it, the brush doesn't pick up the mascara very well, but uh, it does work. You just have to really dip it in there and really um, make an effort to get it on your eye. But once you use it a couple times, this stuff is great and it's, it doesn't smudge hardly at all. And I really like it. Kind of hard to get off though. Sorry, I keep on getting these little pieces in my face. It's annoying. Um, 
let's see. I kind of set my makeup sometimes with, with a little of this um, kind of translucent. Oopsies. Oopsies, oopsies. This has the wrong thing in it. With this sort of translucent Revlon Photo Ready. I like Revlon Photo Ready line. It's pretty nice. Um, before I started using MAC, I was using this. And it worked pretty well. But like I said about drugstore products, they tend to come off their fa your face. But I put a little of this on to help set my makeup. Um, blush. Got Alme Powder Blush. This works pretty good. I don't know, nothing really to write home about. My personal favorite eyeliner is Revlon Color Stay. As you can see, I do rock the cat eye. And I like this look on me. And I use Revlon Color Stay. And other girls that have bought it say that they really like it as well. Best product ever. Best product ever. What's best product ever, Mom? Airbrush legs. Where is it? There. Airbrush legs. Look at my legs. Mom, no, go away. Here, look at my legs. No, I don't want me on this video. I don't. Put them down there. Mm -hmm. Please. I had blotchy legs from self tanning, and it helped even it out. My family is really weird. Okay, moving on. We've got some the Colossal Volume Express by Maybelline. My sister uses this. Um, I know a lot of other girls that use it. It's pretty good. Um, I like. Uh, L'Oreal better, but that's just me. Um, I've used this as an eye primer. This is Maybelline Dream Matte. I used to use this as a foundation, but not anymore because it's a little greasy, but I like it as a primer. Helps set your eyeshadow. Um, as for eyeshadows themselves, I've got this palette. I know it's pretty popular. My sister uses it. I don't know what it's called exactly. It's from Christmas like a year and a half ago, so I don't I can't read the back of it. But um if you know which one this is, just like eyeshadow palettes like this are really great if you can find one that's similar. Um cuz it gives you a lot of options. Um I recently got this uh L'Oreal Hip High Intensity little thing. It's kind of like a MAC knockoff because I actually do have a MAC one like this and I've seen ones like this. But I don't know. I, I thought the color itself was really intense, like really unnatural looking. So if you're looking for some really like bright, bright color, I would check this out. I'm kind of all over the place. I should probably have all of the makeup items in the same category together. Uh, but um, you'll just have to deal with me. I've got some Studio Fix Liquid by MAC. Um, I used this for a while before I discovered Studio Sculpt and I found that I like Studio Sculpt a lot better because it lasts longer. This one's kind of a more watered product and it doesn't hold as well as Studio Sculpt does. Um, like you'll have to touch up like during the day if you use Studio Sculpt. Studio Fix Fluid. I mean, if you're trying to stay glamorous all day, but most of the time, I don't really mind that much. I usually take off my makeup when I get home. Um, I don't know. I've got some CoverGirl, um, CoverGirl Perfect Blend, like, eye pencils. They're not really eyeliners. Not that great. Oh, product that I didn't really like. Um, Sally Hansen Natural Beauty Inspired by Carmindy. These, these eyeshadows are almost translucent. You really have to like, like almost er, dig in there to get some product on it. And then it's, um, it's, yeah, it just it doesn't really make an impact. But I guess that's why they call it the Natural Beauty line. But I would say to, for, uh, I would say Sally Hansen's uh, makeup line outside of their nail polishes is pretty unpopular from what I've seen. Like, people don't typically buy Sally Hansen eyeshadows and stuff because they're not that great. Their expertise is nail stuff. I don't understand why companies have to try to do everything. Um, Cold Duo Eyeliner um, by L'Oreal. I don't really like this one. It smudges, but I have it. Sometimes I use this for contour lines. Um, Revlon Photo Photo Ready 020. It's in medium. 
it's like a medium color. I couldn't use that on my face because I'm too light. Um, I do have a little bit of Avon. Avon blush is the only Avon that I'll use. Avon eyeliners are horrible. They don't go on hardly at all. Um, brush. Brushes are really important too. Guys, I love e.l.f. brushes. If you don't know what e.l.f. brushes are, they're at Target. They're like these, um, they're almost like knockoff professional brushes, but they only cost like a dollar and they actually work pretty well. Um, I use this one for powder and, uh, uh, translucent loose powder type things um, and then I've also got a brush for contouring lines I'd really recommend buying some half decent brushes if you can it really makes putting on makeup a lot easier I never did that before like I've got this for blending eyeshadow or blending blending eyeliner into eyeshadow and then I've got this one for applying eyeshadow and then um, I've also got um, I like to use this brush for my foundation. Um, like I'll put my MAC Studio Sculpt in my wrist and I'll just kind of apply from there. Um, oh, mascara that I didn't like. Uh, Maybelline Lash Stiletto. This is not great. It's clumpy and it almost makes your it makes your lashes look like wiry. Like they're like stuck together and ugh, not very good. Um, another Oh, here, here's another product that I didn't like. Um, Maybelline Fit, Fit Line. Um, this was part of a promo. As you can see, there's a rose on it. It was like 1920s inspired, so I liked it. It's kind of glamorous, but uh, this isn't actually, it's, this isn't the color called a Pink Peony or something, and it does not go on like a blush. It's actually very translucent, and I think that's kind of false advertising because it doesn't go on like a blush at all. Okay, I need to cut this off. I just realized that I've been going on for 10 minutes. So that's what's inside my makeup bag. If anybody is interested in that kind of thing, um, just thought I'd do an update.